I've brought my friends Lojo and Frank Sebastiano and uh, Artie Lang, my buddy that I did this movie with. Is that the guy who got fired from Mad TV? Yeah, man, he got fired from Mad TV. Yeah. This is the coolest story. What did he? Uh, where is he? Bring him in too. He's a good guy, man. Bring, come on in here. Funniest story. What's this guy's name? Uh, uh, Artie. Artie. Yeah. Artie. Yeah. So me and Artie, we did this movie in the summer, and Chris Farley and uh, Chris Farley's in the movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. So. uh... uh Man, this guy Artie's crazy. Hey, it's uh, that's not. That's Artie. Hey, there's Artie. Hey, Artie. <laughs> hey, man, you got fired from Man TV. Good. You could go go with Norm. He got fired from SNL, so he got, he got something to talk about. Club. No wonder you guys are hanging around with each other. Two guys who got fired from uh, prominent television shows. What'd you get fired for? Yeah, maybe Man TV isn't prominent. Yeah, but what, it's supposed to be. A club. He did the funniest thing on Mad TV. He did this character. That's my. What the hell was it? <laughs> that's my white mama. He played an old uh, black woman. Oh, really? I what? played a black mother. So why did you get fired if you're so funny? <laughs> it's a long story. Norm tells it really well. You're a heavy set guy? I can tell it fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead. So he goes, he's like, oh, he's from her. So he goes to, uh, he goes to that Quincy Martin dude, you know? Who's Quincy, Quincy Martin? What's his name? Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones. Quincy right. Jones, right. Martin. The black guy. Yeah, yeah. Head, the kill. Who's cool dude. Right, so, right. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. So Quincy Jones, right, and he's the head of the Mad TV show. Yeah. So he goes, hey, I'm going to bring all you dudes out to uh, Vegas to see the Tyson fight. Right. So they all go out, you know, to see it. And then Artie turns out like he's a crazy compulsive gambler. Me and Artie. Oh, no. Yeah. Me and Artie used to have gambling. You have a gambling problem, Artie? He, he still does. Uh, I, yeah. I finished. You kicked me off. Right. Yeah. I don't know. What did you bet on? What? Um, what did you bet on? Sports. Really? Yeah. So, he, how much money would you go through? I I lost everything. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. You? <laughs> so I don't see you as like a sports you kind of guy. What? I don't know anything no, about sports. He's very good. You're very good at picking the games. <laughs> yeah. Not when he puts money on him. No, well, he's, he, he's, he's a mush. He so, gives me a lot of good tips. How much money would you say you lost gambling? I lost, I, I lost everything. I, I know an exact number. Go ahead, give it. What's the exact number? Go ahead. Go ahead, Artie. That's $2,000. Yeah? A yeah. couple hundred thousand? Yeah. yeah. Was this money that you earned on Saturday Night Live? What? Was this money you earned on Saturday Night Live? Yeah. Is Go this ahead. what cured you, losing a whole bundle? Yeah, I just, you know, I didn't have any more money. <laughs> so, wow. So this dude... Right? I didn't know that about you. No wonder Don Olmeyer hates you. I'm with Don Olmeyer. Who needs a compulsive gambler? Yeah, around the set. Who urinates in bottles. <laughs> and plays football in the hall. All right. And won't get along with the rest of the cast. <laughs> so this dude, Quincy Martin, takes him to... Uh, Quincy, Quincy Jones. I'm sorry, Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones had nothing to do with this. No, no, he didn't. Right, anything. right, right. So they ta he takes him says, hey, I'm going to take the cast of the Mad TV, man. Oh. Is that called Quincy Jones, though? Wow. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly that's it. That's it. You know, you do do good impressions. Well, yeah. yeah, you so can goes, do that on... Ah, uh, man, you jive. Turkeys, we're going down to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do it. Go, to go down Dead to on, the Tyson fight. Yeah. So they go to the Tyson fight, right? right. Then this dude, Artie. you know, already bets like more money than he has. Like How much did you bet? I bet like uh, fifteen thousand dollars. Okay. Right. So then, of course, Tyson loses. So then, <laughs> so then he goes crazy. Doesn't know what to do. He's trying to get his money back. So he goes to the casino, and loses a bunch of money in the casino. How much did you lose in the casino? <laughs> like another five grand. Okay. Yeah, you're done like twenty. Just sent you on a tear. Huh? Yeah. He just went into a spiral. Then uh, he does a bunch of coke and beats up his manager. <laughs> really? And gets thrown in jail. Really? And then when he gets thrown in jail, some dude. Uh, how come fat guys are all doing coke and they're still fat? I thought you get yeah, thin from doing coke. Is. Well, actually, I've, I haven't done coke in like eight months. What, you go to rehab? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? What, do you just hang around with like Chris Farley and this guy? I mean, it's like all and fat guys that do coke? Really Why, good, weren't I we going to call Don Olmeyer? Wasn't I going <laughs> to have him? That was the idea. <laughs> so then yeah. he gets fired from the show. Right. He doesn't have any money. Or because he did the gambling yeah. and he got, he got arrested. Going to jail. For beating up that guy. Yeah. Yeah. So then he has to go back. To I didn't beat anybody up. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so then he has to go back to New Jersey and right. become a cab driver. Is that right? You're a cab driver now? No, That's I, sad. I make a good living in no, the now, business. Now he, really? now he came back. Did you go to rehab? Well, Norm, uh, yeah, I went to Did you to clean rehab. toilets and all the whole thing? Uh, no, no, I never cleaned toilets. When's the last time you did so you had a big coke problem? Not a big coke problem. Like, I never did it every day, but like once a month you couldn't find me for like four days. <laughs> <laughs> and it always ended bad, like with like naked in the cop car. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I had a... I went to like out of county jail for like four. <laughs> I, I love out of control guys. Yeah. 
I, I mean, love out of control. I hated guys. LA. I mean, Man TV treated me really well. They were nice. They to me. were good to you, Quincy they Jones. They gave me a break. Quincy Jones, like the best guy in the world. Okay. But I had a lot of problems. Right. And I was like really depressed. Out what were your problems? You gambled you? and you were on coke. Gambling, a lot of booze. And coke. And coke, yeah. Right. Every right. once in a while. Like I said, like once a month, like I would say, oh, I'm going to do cocaine. And I just would get it. It would end up bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it never ended up good. Right. And the last time it ended up bad it <laughs> yeah. was in front of Quincy tried, Jones. I can handle it. No, but I was, I was in front of, uh, I got arrested at like 11 o'clock in the morning. I was up for like three days. And, right. Uh, in front of the studio where we shot the show for possession yeah. of coke. All right, so who, who caught you with the when coke? You go, when he goes to jail, right? Yeah. Because you know how they raped you? Yeah. You got raped? No, he didn't get, no, didn't get raped. He didn't get raped, but they, they, like, they put a special thing on you. Like, if you're either a snitch or a celebrity. Right. This, in L.A. County Jail, they put the, a red band on you, and that means one of three things. Either you're a celebrity you're a snitch or you're a murderer. So that wow. means they separate you from the other. <laughs> wow. The other so, they don't so now they're playing a game trying to figure out what you are. Yeah, well, so no they one figure. knows me. Right. <laughs> you're either a snitch or a murderer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. So this, like, this like, Puerto Rican kid comes out to me and he says, yo, man, what's up? Ah. <laughs> so the guy, so the Puerto Rican guy comes up to you and he's a red band. <laughs> he goes, he goes, yo, man, what's that red band all about, man? Yeah. And I said, oh, no, you know, uh, I don't know. They just put it on me. At that point, I didn't know. He right. Says, he goes, what, you snitch? Oh. And this is like on the bus where they're transporting me from where I like detox. <laughs> yeah. Because like you don't look like a murderer and you don't look like a celebrity. Right. Well, he goes, he goes, I couldn't be a celebrity. I mean, I'm, right. I'm on like a Fox late night show. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. don't look like you murdered anybody. The, no Jeez, the cops, the only ones that recognize you as a celebrity are the cops and they put a red band well, on the you. The worst part is all the all the, the guards, they have these real bad attitudes, you know, right. the guards. Right. And uh, they saw the red band on them. Right. And the one